snakes, potentially the most infamous reptiles on the planet. It can be a little bit difficult to do so without taking a bite. Hmm, don't chew on me. From the ones that startle us in our yards to the titanic killers deep in wilderness, we spend a lot of time being afraid of them. So much that we almost forget how weird they are. How odd is it that without legs or ears, these weird reptiles have conquered every continent but Antarctica? And what if I told you that one particular snake, one that might be living under your feet right now, might be the strangest of them all? While exploring flatwood habitat in southern Florida with my good friend Mikey Green, we stumbled onto one of these secretive little aliens. Blind snake? You seriously? You ever seen a blind snake? No, I have not. Alright, yeah. Got a Brahmini blind snake. Lifer for you? Yeah. They really do look like worms. What? Look how weird that thing is. I almost thought it was like a little flatworm when I first got it, but nope, that's a blind snake. Have a look at this little creature right here. This is a blind snake. It's probably the strangest reptile I have ever laid eyes on. This is a reptile. It looks like a worm, literally, because it's like that sleek, really, really smooth body, and you can't even see its face. Every now and then, oh, right there, a little tongue flick, which tells you it's a snake. Now, these guys are actually in their own family of snakes. They're not your typical colubrid snake. They're definitely not a viper. I mean, look at this thing. That's not a viper, but they are absolutely strange. With a closer look, you can actually see, yep, there's scales all down his body. Yeah, this guy moves in the most erratic ways I have ever seen. I actually had to ask Mikey for a second because he's like, Look at that. He's twitching his head and like curling over, but apparently this is what they normally do. The way he moves almost looks like he's having like nervous system issues or something, but nope, this is just their, their normal movements. Absolutely strange reptiles, and they're not native to Florida, so they've been introduced probably through potted plants, but they don't seem to be a very significant problem, and uh, they're eating mostly soft-bodied invertebrates. We've seen a ton of invertebrates underneath these rocks here, so they're not making a huge dent in the population. He keeps poking me with that tail there, and see, I've, I've worked with like worm snakes before, and worm snakes will actually kind of stab you with the tail on the end, but his is actually kind of sharp. Almost hurts a little bit when you when you grab him. He does this thing where he just jab you a few times, and it, you can actually feel it like really poking you there, which is weird. I haven't had that with with the worm snakes. You can feel like it, it touching you, but this actually you can actually it, it's so thin and sharp that you can actually like feel it kind of poking into your skin, um, which is a defense mechanism. If if a if a lizard or something is like rooting around in the dirt and stumbles upon him and grabs him, that jab could potentially poke out the lizard's eye or something and cause a predator to drop this little snake here look at that look how he moves his head i don't know what that would be for because the tongue is how he senses his environment um so i'm not sure what that what that head movement is for but i can't imagine it's not some kind of sensory thing to uh understand the world around him one of the best things about the subterranean world is that you don't have to go very far to see some really unique life forms to find the weirdest creatures on earth you'd think you'd have to go all the way out to some remote jungle in the amazon but nope right here under our feet are some of the most bizarre animals ever invertebrates amphibians and even these weird blind snakes all slink and squirm in the dark, shadowy corridors of the underground matrix, carrying out the drama of life. The blind snake truly is blind, with only vestigial eye spots that can distinguish light from dark if it happens to get exposed. That cute little tongue that occasionally flicks out, reminding you that this is indeed a snake, not a worm, scans the substrate for traces of soft-bodied invertebrates, as well as threats. A close look at his face, he doesn't really have much of a face. Really, really close look. You can kind of see a mouth there, but it's very, very tiny. It's easy to forget this is actually a, a vertebrate until you see that tongue and you kind of feel them a little bit. You can feel there's there's definitely some kind of structure inside them, but gotta be very gentle with them. But they're extremely delicate. I mean, look at the size of this thing, tiny. It, it, it'd be very easy to harm this animal. Um, so I have to be very careful. That's why I'm mostly letting him kind of just splay out in the middle of my palm here. So unusual. Just look at the way this thing moves. From a distance, it does look slimy, but no, it's dry. It's very smooth and very sleek. Look at you, buddy. This is not a native species, but I don't have the means to care for it, and I don't feel like killing it. So we're actually going to uh, release it back. They don't seem to be a very big ecological problem. Little Florida blind snake. That is something I didn't expect to see out here. 
um, but very exciting nonetheless. Comparing this blind snake to one of the common rat snakes I see every day, or one of the menacing rattlesnakes, it's hard to believe that these creatures come from the same lineage. The millennia on our world have shaped all these creatures into the fantastic diversity we see today. And with how strange this little blind snake is, you can see just how far life on our planet will go in order to find some unique niche to survive in. And it's not just snakes that push survival to the extreme. There is another animal that claims the title of the toughest survivor on Earth. And it's not even a vertebrate. As crazy as it sounds, I guarantee there's one lurking somewhere in your backyard right now. If you want to learn more about the insane world of the tardigrade, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.